Life isn't about having, it's about being. You could surround yourself with all that money can buy, and you'd still be as miserable as a human can be. I know people with perfect bodies who don't have half the happiness I found. On my journeys I've seen more joy in the slums of Mumbai and the orphanages of Africa than in wealthy gated communities and on sprawling estates worth millions. Many people think I can't live a normal life because I don't have arms or legs. I could choose to believe that and give up trying. I could stay at home and wait for others to take care of me. Instead, I choose to believe that I can do anything, and I always try to do things my own way. I choose to be happy. I am happy because I am always thankful. It's a lie to think you're not good enough. It's a lie to think you're not worth anything. I encourage you to accept that you may not be able to see a path right now. But that doesn't mean it's not there. If I fail, I try again, and again, and again. If you fail, are you going to try again? The human spirit can handle much worse than we realize. It matters how you are going to finish. Are you going to finish strong? We can't, and we should not, compare sufferings. We come together as a family of God, hand in hand. And then together coming and standing upon the promises of God, knowing that no matter who you are, no matter what you're going through, that God knows it, He is with you, He is going to pull you through. I have the choice to be angry at God for what I don't have, or be thankful for what I do have. Having faith, beliefs, and convictions is a great thing, but your life is measured by the actions you take based upon them. Yet I also believe that when you do unto others, blessings come to you as well. So if you don't have a friend, be a friend. If you are having a bad day, make someone else's day. If your feelings are hurt, heal those of another. Have you ever felt trapped in circumstances, then discover that the only trap was your own lack of vision, lack of courage, or failure to see that you had better options? The greater the struggle, the more glorious the triumph. Sometimes you may feel like you are just about to realize your goal only to fall short. That is no reason to quit. Defeat happens only to those who refuse to try again. Pain is pain. Broken is broken. Fear is the biggest disability of all. And will paralyze you more than being in a wheelchair. Risk, then, is not just part of life. It is life. The place between your comfort zone and your dream is where life takes place. It's the high anxiety zone but it's also where you discover who you are. God gave you just one mouth, but he gave you two ears, so you should listen twice as much as you speak. We easily become trapped in the someday mentality. Someday I'll have all the money I need to enjoy life. Someday I'll be able to spend more time with my family. Someday I'll have time to relax and do what I love doing. To keep moving up, you have to abandon the security of that ledge and reach for another hold. Letting go of that sense of security is the challenge. Think of yourself as climbing a ladder. To move to the next rung, you must give up your grip and reach for the next one. If we look at our lives and concentrate on things that we don't have or wish to have, that doesn't change the circumstances. The truth is that we have to focus on what we have and make the best out of it. 